see you guys. Roman lettuce. Cucumber. Some pea petal. Fish organic fertilizer. And some uh, bone meal. Well, I did seed a lot of these stuff. But um, the slug came and eats most of it. Well, I say about 30%. And then the rest of them, when I planted outside, guess what happened? We have that freezing cold, snowy storm came in May and yep, killed 95% of it. I still got some left. So I have to get some more to fill them in. That's what happened when you love your gardening. They kind of expensive, $4 for one, not the whole thing. Flopping in your area. <laughs> Put it on your forehead. Why? Because it's dirty. No. Why would I do that? Why? Because it's dirty. Alright, watch out. Okay, guys. So, uh, the first bed is ready. I'm gonna plant this red romaine right into this first bed right here. I don't know if I'm gonna split this in half. There's two of them in here. I'm gonna put these organic bone meal in here. I seeded a lot of cucumber and um, I tried to plant it outside. It was, the weather was nice. It looked at, like it was very nice the whole week. And then all of a sudden we have that little uh, May frost came and uh, killed most of my cucumber. So I had to go to get some more to refill them. For some reason they more pricey than other years. They pretty expensive. Um, but anyway, these are the three that I have left and it looked like it survived. So this one's a stronger one, that one's trying to make it. And the other one is, uh, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I'm planning to put all of these down here, but I'm not gonna split them, just in case um, we have another cold wet come. And you know, I'm gonna put one right here. I'm gonna put one right here. And I'm gonna put this one right here. Like that. I want to get them a little bit deeper than normal just in case if the cold weather come put some of those uh you know bone meals in there get a set just like that I'm planning next year I'll redo this bed again this bed is uh, second years that I uh, plan in here I try to put some of the you know like X shelf and vegetable that I don't finish. Try to uh, put all those in here, bury them in here throughout the, the winter, get it decomposed. Normally I would try to rip this out a little so the root can spread faster, but um, the weather might get cold. So if you do that, you're weakening the root so it might die. So in this way, because um, the way the store sell them, all these, it's very soft, so they're gonna grow right out of it anyway, so just gonna leave like that. Should be fine. Make sure you compact them a little bit. I know you're not supposed to compact your dirt, but you have to because um, cucumbers, they're pretty slimsy, so you gotta compact them down a little bit. 
just in case I have strong wind and heavy rain. There you go. That's my cucumber. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys my garden too. What um, what I grow in this garden, my old garden. All these, it survived the May frost. This cucumber I just put down earlier. That you guys see. I have jalapeno here, tomatoes. This, the inside, this one here are the big tomatoes, like this big kind. And the outside is the cherry one. Other video, I just show you guys my uh, my asparagus. It's growing. I don't know if I can be able to harvest this after two years. Next year is going to be two years, Mark. So we'll see what's going on. We're growing very strong. I have uh, flowers and stuff. And this is my sweet pea. Um, we want to grow some more, but uh, because of the May frost, it's killed most of it. And uh, this is all we have left. And we just harvest our sweet pea last year and save it for this year. And we kind of seed it all out. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy more and try to grow more. But the sweet pea, you can eat the pea itself or you actually can eat this. You see this? You pluck it right here. And then you can make a special dish like saute with garlic. And it tastes wonderful. A lot of nutrition out of them. Um, it tastes just like any other vegetable, but better. It's sweet. It has the sweet flavors in it. So you just kind of get the the head of the pea out. Uh, I will show you guys how to do that when it get bigger and more. And um, we'll see. We'll see how it is if I have enough. Because I didn't grow a lot of pea this year. All right, that's it, guy. That's a update on these uh, garden for this year and uh, what I'm growing inside this garden. I think this is it for this garden. I'm not gonna put any more, um, I'm not gonna squeeze any more plants or anything in here. So very much uh, cucumber, tomatoes, different variety, and uh, pepper, and pea, and asparagus. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't, share my video, and thumbs up. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.